Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm Heather. Um, I've had epilepsy for 14 years now, and I'm currently um, at Humbert College in Canada. Um, I'm in the Child and Youth Care program, and I'm in my final semester, currently doing my final internship. So how does epilepsy affect you? Um, you know, it's affected me in a variety of different ways. I have lost like friendships to it, but the way I try to look at it is if they don't support me, then they're not the right friends um, to have within my life if it's just going to cause like a toxic relationship sort of thing. Um, it has affected me like in my previous school years with just like real negativity with um, my, well, actually the program coordinator told me I wasn't going to get a great job because of it um while having a sister with epilepsy so it's kind of like how like how is that supporting your sister like how are you supporting the epilepsy community so i i really try and not let it affect me if that makes sense only because you, you're a human like you make mistakes you you're successful in a way like there's really no no difference than a regular human without epilepsy what obstacles have you had to overcome with your epilepsy? Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's a variety of, a variety of different obstacles, that, um, again, but I, I do try to, like, hurdle over those obstacles, if that makes sense, only because, like, I don't want that to let, I don't want that to stop me from following my dreams, because I'm, a hu again, I'm a human, um, but I have, come over a variety of different ones like I remember when I was in junior middle school I had a teacher who told me to hold on but I was having a seizure so I remember like no like <laughs> I can't control them um so I had to kind of start over in a new class yeah so um there are a variety of different ones from like grade two from when I was first diagnosed to even now so I've really I've been on reduced course load so people are like oh like having to take this course and I'm like no like but I'm still able to give that information that I already know sort of thing. What is one thing you wish people knew about epilepsy? I I still, I still struggle with this because um, people still think that you can um, swallow your tongue um, when you have a seizure. That's that's a favorite myth to kind of explain. So if they do say, I'm like, try it. Show me, like, show me how you swallow your tongue. Um, like, I, I kind of, I'm kind of blunt about it, but I'm still professional to a certain extent. But um, I do wish that people would kind of like educate themselves and in, instead of being like, oh, like I know everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I do, I, the stigma is a big thing for me. And like, people think of like the generalized tonic clonic, like that's the only seizure, but no, there are over 40 different types of seizures for, um, that anyone can experience at any time. So it's just kind of like, know the facts. Why do you think agencies are important and why should people living with epilepsy reach out to them? You know, I I genuinely feel like the more that re that people reach out to their local agency, the better not only our client base, but the better the chance of the stigma breaking. Like I that's how I genuinely feel. Um but they have so much support, um, advice, like they'll support you. Like there's never any like discrimination towards like, oh no, like we can't take you as a client. Like there's never that. Um, like I know, like I'm from Toronto, but I go to the South Central Ontario um, agency and I have never had better support other than my family, of course, but um I'm involved in so many different programs. I've gotten a job there. Like, there's really no discrimination towards us. So I definitely suggest like reach out. Like, 
they won't there's no judgment like there's nothing they genuinely just want to support you earlier you had mentioned about um people following their dreams and all that um do you do you want to build on that yeah sure um I think like like I said before I'm a human I have dreams I have hopes and just because I have epilepsy doesn't mean I can't follow my dreams doesn't mean I can't be successful and I think that goes for anyone who has epilepsy because I know I've worked with clients who are like oh like I can't do that but you can there may be like obstacles or barriers that you have to overcome but in the end it will all be worth it and I think that's just people try, need to try and remember that and I mean throwing back to the agencies they can help you too they will come in and like train like your profs or teachers and build an action plan with you like it's it's really important to realize that you have dreams and you can achieve them what are your hopes and dreams um my dreams are definitely to like help children and youth who may be struggling to overcome those barriers or obstacles that they have um and I definitely like I want to be able to help them with that and it's I really just want to work with kids and youth um especially the ones with like different disabilities so whether it's like developmentally delayed or autism like I really enjoy working with those kids because they inspire me like because they just don't let things stop them um so my dream is to work with kids and youth who have different disabilities but also to raise more awareness with epilepsy um so you're working with the youth care program to do that so how many how much how long is that program um so the current program that I'm working with, um, with Epilepsy So Central Ontario is, um, it's a monthly program. So we have monthly support groups. Um, and then we also, not right now, cause COVID, um, we're, we do like different outings or workshops just cause this helps the youth feel accomplished. And they do things they may not, otherwise get to do just because of like the possible isolation or helicopter parents sort of thing um but yeah that's definitely what I'm kind of working on right now and you're at Humber College and how's that going are they understanding and good with your epilepsy oh, they're amazing like it could be biased to other colleges I'm sorry um but yeah they're they're amazing like they don't there's no judgment like the profs are very understanding um yeah I couldn't I couldn't have chose a better college again biased but you know questions <laughs> or anything you'd like to talk about add or um I think you pretty much covered all the bases I just want to say thank you for having me Stronger than before